in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can create this effect in less than three minutes and no we don't need any geometry nodes for it so without further ado let's get right into it we're gonna delete everything from our scene and gonna add a suzanne and we will give it two subdivisions to make sure that we have some geometry then then we're gonna add a particle simulation in this and let's give it fifteen thousand particles now the number of particles should be somewhat equal to the number of faces that you have in your geometry now let's change the frame start to when you we want the disintegration effect to start and end frame is when we want the object to be completely disintegrated Integrated. So I'm going to add five for my start frame and one 80 for my end frame for the lifetime we're going to keep it at 50 and lifetime randomness i'm going to keep it at 0.4 now let's expand this source section here and we're going to keep emit from two faces but we'll check use modifier stack and we'll change distribution from jitter to grid and let's click on invert grid and resolution will update it to 40 and randomness will bring it all the way up to one now let's click on this velocity section and we're going to change the velocity to zero now check on this rotation bar and increase the randomization all the way up to one and also click on dynamic now for render we'll click on this and change it from halo to none and now click on field weights and change the gravity to zero all right once we are done with this we are going to come back here and add another modifier that is called explode we will make sure that we uncheck it and also check on cut edges now let's add a turbulence force field and we will change the power to eight and we will add a noise of one now if i play this you should already see some of that effect some of the particles are coming over to the side where we have the original mesh as well we we don't want that so let's also add another force field that's wind and i'm gonna rotate it on the y-axis by minus 90 degree and let's bring it here and also let's add a noise of 0.1 in this and now we can also make the effect a little bit more realistic by adding a solidify modifier so that it gives it a little bit more thickness let's do shade auto smooth and that's gonna make things a little bit more crispier here is the bonus tip for you if you want separate material for your object and the particles that are getting emitted all you have to do is just duplicate your object here come to this explode modifier here and for the original suzanne just uncheck the alive and for the duplicated suzanne uncheck the unborn and once we do that now any particles that are getting exploded is a different mesh and any particles that are not getting exploded is a different mesh now i'm not sure if you know about it but we can also add animated textures onto your mesh and even play videos on it so click on this video here to know more 